I am going to make a hospital room for a doll using a binder, scrapbook paper and cardstock, pictures of graphs from magazines, fabric, and felt, the plastic frame from a sponge roller, duct tape, cardboard, jump rings, and elastic cord. If you don't have jump rings, you can try safety pins. I start by measuring a piece of cardboard that is the same size as my doll. Cut it out. Cut another piece of cardboard that's the same size as the first. Place one of the pieces of cardboard in the middle of another piece of cardboard. I draw tabs out to the sides. Cut it out. Fold the tabs in on the lines drawn. I cover the front of one of the pieces of cardboard with felt. Cover it with another piece of fabric. Trim off the excess so that the center cardboard is still exposed. I cover the other pieces of cardboard and duct tape, making sure to leave the centers uncovered. I bend the fabric covered cardboard for the head and legs. I apply glue to the back side of the unraised portion and glue it to the other piece of cardboard. Glue the piece with the trapezoid tabs to the bottom I cut two small pieces of elastic cord and glue them underneath the bed. Pull off the rectangle portion of a sponge roller and glue it to the fabric. I made sure to glue it only to the part that bends so that the bed can still be raised and lowered. I apply glue to the inside of my binder to glue on scrapbook paper for wallpaper. I glue pictures cut from magazines onto cardstock. I glue them to the binder with a little bit of elastic string hanging down to make a monitor. I hem the top and bottom of a small piece of fabric, attach safety pins or jump rings to the top, put the rings onto the first loop of the binder, and make faux cabinets by cutting pieces of cardboard, cover them in scrapbook paper, and glue it to the binder. Add a few pillows, repeat on the other side, and you're done. Happy crafting! Why should you like us on Facebook? Because it's so fabsome. You can submit photos of your doll crafts for a chance to be in one of our videos. Just be sure to put fan pic in the comment or description box. We even do fun stuff like froggy trivia. Be one of the first to answer to get your name in one of our videos. And we also have GPS Dad. Can you name what city our dad is in? Facebook is also a great way to see what's coming next. Well, see you in the next video. All right, Sophie, last question. What is the atomic symbol for lithium? Hmm, lithium L-I. That's right. Looks like we're finished. Do you know what that means? It's time for Doll's Anatomy. Ah! Oh, but wait, let's do the shout out first. We want to give a shout out to LPS Life is Awesome 295. What's, What's up? up? You won't believe the day I've had. You know, this job is a lot of work. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? I think you have the right idea. And there's an empty bed right over there.
I just need five more minutes. Wake up! What? Oh, Dr. McStuffy. I mean, doctor. Are we sleeping on the job when there is work to do? Oh, no. I was, um, I was just testing out the pillows. And they appear to be working just fine. Great. Now you can go clean the bedpans in room 209. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> go clean the bedpans. Now that is rich. She had to go clean the bedpans because she was sleeping on the job. <laughs> Some of the fun things about this project is that the bed is kind of adjustable. Since we only glued down this portion here, you can move the top of the bed to prop it up and even the bottom half. Now you can just stick a pillow behind it if you want it to stay up. And there you go, you got your little adjustable bed thing going on. And when you're all done playing, you can just fold the bed like so, close the binder, slide the two beds inside. and put it on your bookshelf. And if you find that your bed needs a little extra support, you can just place something underneath it like a small box to help stabilize it.